Thank you so much for doing this interview. We should mention that we're over at the uh, CUT uh, Hip Hop Awards. How does it feel being here tonight, walking the red carpet? Ah, it feels exciting. It feels uh, uh, very, it's breathtaking to see all the beautiful faces, all the beautiful people, and to network with the new artists that are in the building tonight. Yeah. Now, you're not a nominee this year. Hopefully, in the future, you will be. And this is the first time we're getting a chance to talk, so I'd love to learn more about your career. Now, you're an artist from Toronto. Growing up in Toronto, what kind of music were you listening to? Um, mainly hip-hop, R&B, music. Um, my background is Jamaican, so um, I got a lot of that roots in me with the reggae music also. But hip-hop is my, my love, so I do hip-hop music um, for a living, um, as well as... Uh, poetry. Poetry is what I started out with first. So, Wait a minute, you just mentioned about poetry. Were you writing poetry as a youngster? From the age of ten. Yeah, I've been writing. So, what kind of poetry were you writing? What kind of stories? Was it just things that you were going on in life or other friends? Yes, life stories. Um, just yeah, everyday life experiences. That's basically what my poetry was based around. Then it kind of, when I grew up and started performing at the age of 17, it, it got into uh, more political things, more historical uh, subjects, uh, for that matter. So, yeah. So, what artists were you listening to also growing up? Um, my kind of artists were like. Lauren Hill, Erica Badu, um, Jay Z, Nas, um, who else? The Locks, uh, MOP, uh, Bucktown, you know, those kind of artists. I'm real old school, so. And how did they sort of influence into your, into your music when you started really cracking it down and writing them? Um, just um, learning how to use life experiences to um, relay the music, um, learning how to just put words together properly and yeah, deliver a good lyrical flow about my music. Did you also go out, did you do shows like smaller shows and smaller clubs or in schools? What were you doing there? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I'm always about community and that's where I started first with my, my poetry and spoken word. So it grew into performing hip hop music with, you know, uh, collaborating with uh, fellow artists from Toronto and then just kept building from there. So yeah, of course, um, places like Ajayna Finch is where I grew up. So community events from there moving forward to like clubs and lounges downtown all over the city. You know, you mentioned about growing up in Jane and Finch. You always hear stories about it. How do you feel Jane and Finch is represented um, in the misconceptions of the area? Uh, the misconception of the, the fact that, um, the misconception of us being um, impoverished or, you know, uh, just not ready for the world yet is basically how they make the youth uh, be or have the youth portrayed from Jane and Finch, and it's not that way. Um, a lot of the times they feel like the crime is from the people who are in that area, and a lot of the times it's people coming in to the area and causing the the uh, the foolishness. So I mean. Um, there's a lot of great people that came out of the Jane and Finch. There's a lot of people that came out of Toronto, and Jane and Finch isn't the only area that is going through things that may seem like we we have you know high crime, high poverty, and you know um, disconnected youth. Uh, I'm telling you, there's great things. There's great people here in the city, and there's great people from Jane and Finch also. So. You just need to recognize that and build build our character. It sounds like you're doing that with your music. Talk a little bit about one of your singles that you have out right now. Um, my first single, Hello, is off my first EP. Um, it's my first compilation of music. Uh, I put it out last year. It's called Up From The Root. It's on bandcamp.com. You can get it rootsk.bandcamp.com, R-O-O-T-Z, letter K. And uh, yeah, the first single is produced by DJ Mike Flo. I'm from Atlanta, he's Dead Prez's DJ, and uh, yeah, awesome, awesome project. So look out for it, go cop it. Now you mentioned about the EP, is there a future album coming our way soon? There is, I'm working on an album at this moment, and I'm hoping to release it for summertime, so. All right. So where can we go to follow you to see everything you're doing in 2017 in the future? Website, Twitter, where do we go? Uh, Roots K, R-O-O-T-Z, letter K, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter is Roots One Vision. Um, yeah. 
It's where you can find me. Thank you so much for the interview and have fun today. Thank you, and um, I want to shout you out. <laughs> it's all about it's all about you tonight. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Rudy Blair. <laughs>